At 1600, using the hippo. Feeling good. That's, you know, we're, we're moving on up into the levels where people know a little bit of theory. They really take the center. They're not doing as much BS. Still, even then, even when you get all this, the bishop h6 is a good move. This is happening more and more. You really want to be precise again. You want to play h6 to prevent this. Because now I'm not as happy. I can't castle. Yeah, I can't castle. Or I don't want to castle, I should say. I could have castled earlier. How about the dad bod shuffle? How's that? And then I shuffle again to defend this. And you know what? I can see my opponent hanging their queen. First, I'm going to go here. But I can, I can see the queen getting trapped after h4. Something like that. Okay, let's go there. Oh, I did not. Is that a good move? I take, they take, we trade everything. Eh. We'll go for it. I might get punished here, but that's part of part of the deal, hey? Queen check, we can drop back. Scary. Do you want to trade queens? My opponent's playing well here. Seriously. Putting me under some serious pressure. I guess I'll take. And then if rook here, queen f6, get the queens off, because I, I need those queens off. This is too scary. My king in the open. I think this is a good looking move. Fork in the rooks. Full rook. That is a full rook, sir. And now king g7, and there's no more checks. I want to try a sneaky move. I'm going to hang my knight because I'm threatening checkmate, and I think my opponent might miss that. Check. Not the easiest game. If I was to play this over, right here, right? H6 first and then 97. Ah, uh, be careful about the pre moves. I'm not pre-moving, so just have to remember not to hang my queen. Ah, there we go. Let's go a3, nice and solid. And now, how do we want to expand the hippo? I've already played the hippo in Title Tuesday. Okay, we'll go g4. Right, 
threatening to trap the knight. Mm, that's a good looking move, honestly. I generally like to reply with d4 and close things off, but I think black has a good position. The thing I didn't like about taking was bishop g3, and then they take here. Okay, this is okay. This is okay. We will we will endure. Defend the pawn. I have the bishop pair. I feel okay. And I and I'm gonna start pushing these guys. Push. My bishop's not doing anything, so I might as well improve it. Why don't we keep pushing? Yeah. Push, push, push. 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 X. Check. Now that is tempting. To sack the queen is very tempting here. We have to do it, right? There's absolutely no way we, we don't sack the queen here. If the people want it, we, that's a check. And now I just need to get a rook on g1 and that's mate. Might take a little bit of time. Let's. need a rook on the g file but i don't have time rookie it's coming uh, this bishop is good but it's shaky it's gonna get booted off oh okay my opponent doesn't care so check they gotta block the knight We want checkmate, so I need to, I'm not going to take right away, I have something else in mind, you're going to like it. And then I'll go d5, because I want checkmate, and I'm going to get checkmate. Got to open that bishop up, take away the escape square. See? Yeah. Two bishops and two rooks. Everyone was working together. Let's continue. Ah, uh, I'm learning. Be careful about pre-moving. Let's go h3 first. Now we can continue. Sure. So players are being more aggressive as we've moved on up, but I'm not sure that means they're playing better. For example, here, I can just trade this off and win a pawn. Just a pawn up. King is safe. Black center is uh, non-existent. They're playing super aggressive. Oof. Jeez. Okay, let me take and take let's kick this rook away but I'm up a pawn so I'm not not in a bad spot however black is pretty active let's play king b1 when you don't know what to do you play king b1 it's usually a safer uh, square for the king, kind of defends a2, gets off of any uh, checks. Yeah, what if I go a3? You're blocking my bishop, but now my knight can go to c4.
Be nice to kick away this rook. I just don't know how to do it. I'm going to go for this pawn. It's isolated. Bot can defend. But some at some ELO ratings, people don't care about pawns. So I want to see if this is one of those ranges. This is scary, by the way. I will not claim that I have a great position. Okay. End games are good. Queen trade, pawn up. We're okay. Now, now we're doing good. That's the double attack. Oh, there's a free rook. You're right. You're right there was a free rook. I just assumed my opponent moved it, but the rook stayed on f2. Bad players. I, I just don't, it's just bad players. I attacked the rook and I, I thought they moved it, but it stayed on f2. Yeah, I missed, I missed the free rook. That was a very free rook. I'm going to make up for it. We're going to be up a rook at the end of this. We're going to have to trap. We're going to have to trap this knight. Are you ready? I'll make up for this with the knight trap. I took away the squares. I'm going to make up for it. I apologize. I do. The knight can't move, and now we're going to go knight hunting. I'm going to put this knight down. So first, the rook needs to contain the knight, and the king needs to hunt the knight. Boom. There we go. So, I made up for it. We're up a rook again. And we're not done. I'm going to force my opponent to mate themselves. Yes. Rook g5. Only move. King a3. You guys are right. I missed the rook. Yes. Exclamation mark. IG Eric. Follow, follow my Instagram to play, play like that. Always good. Always a good idea. So in this game, my opponent's not being very aggressive. Uh, might change. Oh, the bishop pair. Now this bishop's very happy. When you go g4, you're attacking this knight, and then this will be loose. Yeah, this is, this is good. Open position, bishop pair. No complaints here. There's a hanging pawn here. This one right there. Okay. We can keep trading. So white is up a pawn. White has the bishop pair. And black has no more center because they lost the d-pawn. So this is isolated. Eh, good. Am I going to get another pawn? Will you be generous, KPN? No? Okay, well let's let's add some more pressure here. Uh-huh. What do you do here? Always play Always play King B1. You can also play A3, but same thing. Let's go a3. This knight doesn't need to lurk there. And now we're going to go h6. So this pawn is always attacked by our bishop. We're fixing the pawn. Someone said free pawn. Did I miss a free pawn run for shelter? Are you willing to bet on that? Well, now there's a free pawn. Jeez, now I can't bet on it. No, yeah, I, now, now there is a free pawn, so it's 
too late for me. I was about to win a bet. What is that move? Okay, check. I couldn't take before because the queen was defending. Duh. Now there's another free pawn. Let's keep taking free pawns. Like, these are really free pawns. It's not like you have two, two attackers, one defender. These are completely undefended. So you should be catching those. When they're, like, undefended, loose. Take, take what's available. Yep. And now let's go... Let's bring this rook in. There's lots of free pawns now. What happens if I make a queen here? Does that work? My opponent's actually putting up some resistance. I don't... It hurts my head to calculate this. The knight takes? No, no, no. We're just going to be safe. Bishop here, queen here, checkmate. That's what's going to happen. But they were putting up too much resistance. I was like, you know what? I have no more patience for this. I'm just going to mate them. I don't want to, like, grind this out. You know, you could tell Black knew how to stop the spawn from queening. They were show demonstrating resourcefulness. So I had to change change things up. We'll continue here with the hippo. Okay, they're casting King Set. I was worried about that. I'll still probably have to play it. And now we're going to expand over here. Nice! Weakening their own king voluntarily. Is that a free pawn? It sure is. Thank you. Very free. I have three pieces attacking it, and there's zero defenders. Bishop pair, pawn up, safe king. Weaknesses everywhere. Check. Let's have some fun. Check. Where's the king gonna go? They can play f5, but if they go here, then we can continue munching. Let's get the pieces lined up. I want queen d5 so I can take and play knight f4 check, winning the queen. Just focus on the king. That's a good move. That is a good move. Uh, let's give a check. Check. Using the pin. People on YouTube won't hear this, but this is the Cantina Band Star Wars track. And reviving hard. As we checkmate our opponent. Bring the queen in.
Good defense by Beefy Baron. I respect it. Let's add some more pressure, though. I still have some more firepower. You can't take because the pawn is pinned. But how do you defend this? Maybe rook a6? Is my opponent capable of seeing this move? If here, then I can take. So I got some more nasty tactics ready. My bishop says high as well. That's not going to cut it, beefy baron. GG. Fire bro, good luck. Ah, very dangerous, eh? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Fire Bro. What's up with everyone doing this? I'll take it. Move back. Cheers. We'll go 97. Hope I'm not running into something. No, we're going to close things off. I should have castled there. There were some tactics I had to watch out for, but my opponent didn't play them. Now we can castle and kick the knight out. Now I get to push back. Like that. A5 is a good move to prevent B4. Secure this knight. Push. Open up our bishop. There's a few ways you can take. I'm capturing towards the center. You could capture away from the center as well. Keep things secure. Let's break this pawn though. Ah, yes. My knight's about to jump in and say hi. Like that. Position's opening up. Are we going to give them that? I'm going to go with no. How about I go a5? A4, sir? I have a good knight. I have a good bishop. But this needs to improve. So let's try to improve it by expanding. Takes. Oh, wow. Well, now I, I get to go in an endgame. And I want the endgame with this uh, material. Because I have... I have everything now. I got everything. This knight's doing nothing. The bishop's blocked. My pawns are about to push. Wait, there's a rook hanging. So this is the problem. I play this and I assume in my head they play rook c1. So my next move is because I assume they played rook c1, not because I I just didn't pro I just can't process this. I can't compute it. My, it's a reflex. But I like my bishop. I'm not going to take it. Uh, I'm going to show you what my bishop can do. The bishop pair is worth more than a rook, exactly. Exactly. No, we, we all agree. We're keeping the bishop, and you're going to see why. Big brain. I win a full rook now. I'd like to see you do that. 
I get my get to keep my bishop too. Yep. We're gonna play the hippo. Alvin is is supporting the hippo speedrun here. I'm gonna have to play h3, remember. We don't wanna let them trade off the bishops. And now let's get the knight set up. Good. Aggressive. And this is a good move by Black, because if I go e4, they can still take and open things up. So no matter what, it forces action. There's no way to close the position. So I'm going to take this way, but it's a good move. Just castle. It's a normal position. Nothing special. I like this. I don't like this. Maybe I can go knight f3 and hit it. You use your prime on an e-girl that does ASMR and you should have subbed to chess bra. That's all I want to hear. You learn your mistake and next month, you're going to put your tissue box away and you're going to sub to chess bra. That's, that's good for chess as well. When you learn from your mistakes and you analyze what you did and you, you make, a, make some changes, that's good. I like what I'm hearing. So that's fine. We'll see you. We'll see you next month with your Twitch Prime. I can do ASMR for you as well. You never asked. There is a free knight here, and I didn't take it. Don't support these guys. That was bad. I just want to try this move. I don't think it's very good, but I just want to see if I can get a checkmate in. Move my body back. By the way, Sky Money, thanks for the Prime. Okay, you passed the test, I'm gonna move back. Let's harass the Queen. Check. I can't go there. I can go here. I can take. We'll take. We'll be greedy. My opponent's playing well here. The Germans. The Germans. Coming for me. I gotta be careful about my king. Okay. That could have been worse. Let's go right there. Rook here. Activate the pieces. Bring this rook in. Reroute this. How about... Do you think they're... Okay, I'm going to go here. They're going to go knight here. Oh, no, they're just going to hang a rook. Okay. Check. 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 Pin. Yay. Some more hippo. And that's a free pawn. Thank you. Duver Gutierrez. 
So that country... Is that Colombia? Yes. Our good friend is in, is in Colombia this week. Dr. O. It's a country I'd like to visit. Wait, this isn't the hippo. What happened? Oh, it's because I won a pawn. Well, when you win a pawn, things change. I won a pawn and now I can do whatever. The opening's already successful. Half a hippo, exactly. Because when you win the center pawn, it changes everything. White has nothing to break this. They're missing their e-pawn. They're missing the center. Makes it very hard. Let's attack this rook. Let's attack this rook. Backwards moves, always nice. What about Ecuador? I've never been to Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia. Colombia, Chile. No, I've been to Chile, but not for long enough. Um, I have that entire region to visit. Venezuela. Oh, they just resigned. So, this is... The opening trap. If you take here, you have to be aware of bishop takes f7 check, king takes f7, knight g5. By going e6, now I'm ready to take. But now they also prevented it. Let's harass. There we go. Now we're good to go. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play aggressive. Drop the bishop. Just the one thing you should notice, right? The point of the hippo is with the pawns like this, they don't have squares for their pieces. Can't go here, can't go here. I'm just taking away piece squares. The pawns can push, but the pieces don't have easy access. What if I push? You go here, your bishop is not not working. It's done for the game. You want to do that? Wow. You're 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 tempting me. I'm gonna go knight here. I'm very tempted. This is like you guys. Very similar to the audience. And I just got rid of their worst piece. I would say that that's not a good thing. This piece is already bad. You don't need to actually capture it. If it's not doing anything, use your piece for something better. So I don't think I did something good there, but I have an idea. So at least I have an idea. Otherwise it would be, it would be dumb. My idea is I'm gonna take and checkmate. Shit. Well, there goes my idea. I didn't realize that pawn was hanging. Una buen idea. That, that would have been a nice checkmate. It just, I lost my pawn. It was close. But we're just going to go king here and attack.
It would have been nice. It would have been nice. I didn't expect Max to see it. We're getting closer. Check. Wow. This is an important moment. How hard do you want to work on chess? You can take here and allow this. And that's probably the right thing, but you have to calculate and really be willing to, to work out the calculations. Some people would be like, this is being attacked, I have to stop it. We're gonna we're gonna go for the most concrete variation. Take the piece and um, try to survive. I was about to do this, and I just realized it's not working. So let's stop checkmate. If this bishop moves, then that's mate. Unfortunate move by OG Max. Thank you for the queen. Yep, the soap has been dropped. Why didn't I play checkmate? What's wrong with me? Don't support these guys. Jeez. I just missed checkmate. I can't. What's up with me, man? We're gonna win this, but certainly not a great performance. Good game, Max. Sweet. Let's continue. Get those knights settled. Yeah, people keep doing that. Interesting. I like it. F4 might be a concern. But I'm going to grab some space over here. Yeah, I'm playing Caravan Palace. Okay, so if I take everything... Let me go check first. And the point is... This is checkmate. Uh, let's hope... Excellent. A nice little smothered kind of mate. Checkmate and a royal fork. You Myron? Oh, this guy's got GM in their name. Okay. I can only... Now I can try to set it up. Because I couldn't before. I was going to lose my bishop. Okay, now now we can... Now we can Fianchetto. So the benefit of knight e7 as well over knight f6 is you're not blocking your f-pawn. So if I want, compared to like the king's Indian, I can play f5 in one go instead of having to move my knight. This guy's got GM in their name, so usually that means they're worse at chess. If you role play as a grandmaster, yeah. It's not, not a good look, usually. There's exceptions. But usually it's not. As everyone knows from gaming, if you play games, it's the people that don't have nice names, don't have like flashy usernames that are the most dangerous. A bunch of digits, 
a bunch of random stuff. It doesn't matter, like Counter-Strike, League of Legends. It's like a lot of people, like the least flashy names, a lot of the Smurfs, a lot of like the, the, the good players. People who put effort into their usernames are often like the people who buy a lot of skins and don't know how to play the game. And there's like more vanity. They spend money, but they don't really have skills and they just play for fun. Yeah, almost every game is like that. It's very consistent. We're up a piece now though. So we're, I think we're doing good. Maybe I can start pushing this. Push. Push. This is a good move. Looks a bit annoying. Let's attack it. This is good music. I have not played this much Caravan Palace before. Well, I'm gonna happily trade. So this bishop is blocked and it's not that's not gonna change. There's too many pawns defending it. So let's optimize it. I got no, I do not have a strong bishop on b7. That's a great point, Mr. Mattis. 1337. I'm going to take with a pawn. That takes away this square. Can you use GM as an official title with your passport slash bank? No. If you could, there'd probably be way more people trying to be a GM. No, it's not an official title. I don't... That would be, that would be a cool uh, benefit. But in the Soviet Union, you'd be like an honored master. There were cool titles back in the old days. Not anymore. Free lap dances for GMs? You'd be, a, yeah, we know you'd be all in for that. A lot of chess players are notoriously stingy. So I don't think strip club owners are going to be clamoring to invite them into their establishments. You know, they overthink everything instead of just buying the dance. You can just picture it. Uh, uh, a naked lady comes up, hey baby, you want to take me for a ride? And then the GM starts looking at the ceiling, trying to like, think about what, what they should be doing. And just like, completely out of touch with reality. Just, what? Uh... Over, overthinking. What, how do I respond? I want checkmate. That's what I want. Check. Check. We're gonna clean and win. We took down the GM. Okay, I'll promote to a rook, sure. Wasn't F2 faster than G2? Is it, is this faster?
Where's the checkmate? Still a few moves out. I don't think it's faster. You saw something other than E takes F2? Are you going to tell us what you saw or just going to throw out vague comments? Rook F2, there's two rooks that can go out to F2. You're going to have to specify. But how is it faster? Rook FF2, okay. And what's your next move? It's definitely, yeah, it's not faster. You still need to set up checkmate. One more game to 1700. Yeah, buddy. I like the username. Hey, buddy. They're playing the London. It's okay. The hippo works against the London. That's actually... Which is good. That's good news. Because a lot of people do play the London and uh, the hippo's not so bad against it. And in fact... We can just castle, and I'm looking to play e5. We have to defeat the system players. How about knight here? But we got castled, developed, pretty smooth start. I'm going to attack while you're uh, finishing development. Is that a free pawn for me? I believe it is. Thank you. What is the hippo speedrun? It's playing the hippo. Hippopotamus for both colors. Winning some games. Let's go back. I tricked him. I did that. I had a bishop a4. Oh, yeah. Oh, pay attention to your bishops. It was probably free food on the diagonal. Let's go. GG. Yeah, buddy. 1700. Smooth. Thanks for watching an episode of the Hippo Speedrun. If you want to stay up to date with all of our latest content, other speedruns, and future episodes of this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.